39 minutes to render an intermediate for a 16-minute clip. Now, it's true that you can run multiple instances of Vegas, so if I want to render my intermediates in one instance of Vegas, I can put that in the background and continue working in another instance of Vegas. Even so, I took a look for another solution, and I found one from the folks at Vast. We've talked about them before. It's a product called GearShift. GearShift attaches itself to Vegas in the same way that Ultimate S does. You access it from Tools Scripting. GearShift allows you to create a proxy DV file and edit the DV file, and then when you're done with your editing, replaces that proxy with your original M2T file. I have here a raw M2T file, courtesy of Sony. We're going to create an intermediate, first with Vegas and then with GearShift, and we're going to compare the results. So let's go. We're going to do a minute and a half here. Render as. AVI. Ten eighty sixty I intermediate, all the defaults, render loop region only. We're going to call it Vegas Intermediate. Here we go. This one took five minutes, five seconds. Now let's do the same thing with gear shift. Tools. Scripting, GearShift. GearShift does not have a loop region option. You can use regions, but for this test, I've created the exact same length of clip, the exact same piece of clip, and it's the entire timeline at this point. So let's go to GearShift. Tools, Scripting, GearShift. Take the entire timeline. We want a DV widescreen proxy. Yes. And the media, that's correct. 1080-60i. Place in this folder. Yes, that's correct. Everything is correct. Let's go. Note the name is Capital Zero AVI. We didn't get a chance to name it. We can rename it when it's done. It took 519, and now it's rendering GS Proxy Capital Zero. Another 343, 345. So this one took almost twice as long. The gear shift intermediate is 720 by 480. Standard DV, it will be very easy to edit. Vegas gave us a fourteen forty by ten eighty Cineform HD intermediate. So this is in 1440 by 1080. It looks very sharp, and it's playing back just fine. What do we do next? With this one, since we use the Cineform codec, we don't do anything. Nothing else is required except to render it at the end. With this one, we just replace. Let me delete this from the timeline, make sure we're talking about the same thing, and now we're going to go back to gear shift. and shift gears. Swap out the proxy, replace with the real media. One media file replaced. Gear shift and Vegas, two alternatives, it's up to you. Every render is different. There's no way to predict how long a render is going to take. It's good to have options. One thing is clear. 
rendering times for HDV are long. However long they are for regular DV, they're exponential for HDV. You're going to have to factor that into your workflow decisions.